Hey, shalom everyone. This is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda ben Shomer, and welcome to the Daily Drosh. Today's Daily Drosh is taken from Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 12. It says, Observe the Sabbath day to keep it holy. As Adonai your God has commanded you, six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath for Adonai your God. You shall not do any work on that day, neither your sons, nor your daughters, nor your servants, men or women, nor your ox, nor your donkey, nor any of your animals, nor the stranger, or the foreigner, we should say, who lives with you. Thus your servants, man and woman, shall rest as you do. Okay, this whole remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Okay, my focus is not on which day the Sabbath is. I firmly and equivocally believe that Friday night sundown to Saturday night sundown is and always will be the Sabbath. Some people in the Christian faith will observe Sunday as the Sabbath. So we're not going to argue about the day here in this Daily Drosh, but we are going to talk about what it means for the Sabbath day to be holy. Okay, sometimes we get a little confused and, and, and you know, the, the word holy becomes this religious, mystical, mysterious word. But really, the word holy is a very simple definition. It means to set apart, to set apart, to make different. So remember the Sabbath day to set it aside, to set it apart, to make it different, to separate it from the other days of the week and make it special. That's what making the Sabbath holy is all about. Monday through Friday is is very is is common. It's every day. It's nine to five. It's work. It's your regular routine. But when Sabbath comes, it's not like the rest of the days a week. It's not like Monday through Friday. It's different. Therefore, it is holy. It is separated. We do totally different things on the Sabbath day. Instead of we do the opposite of what we do during the week. So instead of working, we rest. Instead of laboring uh, and, and, and busting our butts, we recreate. And recreation is just uh, uh, the same word as recreation. We recreate ourselves. We become new. We, re we, we rest. We become refreshed. You know, the rest of the week is schoolwork and homework and, and work and doctor's appointments and chores and errands. Saturday is family. It's friends. It's God. It's focusing on Him. That's why it's special. That's why it's different. That's why it's separate. That's why it's holy. That's what the word holy means. It just means to be separate. It's, it's, you can almost liken it unto, you know, an athlete. You know, there's a lot of people that play basketball. You know, you can, basketball players are a dime a dozen. But somebody that can be a part of the NBA and be the slam dunk champion or be the MVP of a particular team, that person is holy, not meaning they're righteous, not meaning that they're better than anybody else in a moral or spiritual way, but holy as in being separated. They are a cut above the rest. They are separate. They are different. They're in a class all their own. And that's what the Sabbath day is. It's in a class all its own. It's set apart, it stands out, it's different and unique. So that's why we don't go out to eat on the Sabbath. That's why we don't mow the yard on the Sabbath. That's why we don't work on the Sabbath. That's why, you know, we rest and, and focus on God and our spirituality and focus on spending quality time with our family, friends, and loved ones. That's what that's why it's special. And uh, let's never forget that. And let's never make the Sabbath day, whichever day you choose to observe, Saturday, Sunday, whatever. Make sure it is separate. Make sure that it is holy and it is unique and it's special and it's like a weekly holiday. Guys, thanks so much for listening. Go out there and have a great day. Shalom and Shavuot Tov. Hey, Shalom everyone. This is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and I am the founder of AbrahamsDescendants.com. I'm excited to announce the publishing of three Torah commentaries just in time for the new Torah reading cycle. And these Torah commentaries have the Torah, Half Torah, and Brit Hadesha portion commentaries included. They are Rabash's Torah Thoughts Volume 1, which include Genesis through Exodus. Rabash's Torah Thoughts Volume 2, which includes Leviticus through Deuteronomy. And we have a special Torah commentary just for kids called Rabash's Torah Thoughts for Kids. To order yours, just go to abrahamsdescendants.com under the media tab and go to the sub tab books and it'll take you right to the storefront where you can order your very own. Thanks. Shalom.